Hey guys, Eamon here, back with another three-body problem reaction. We are on episode eight, the finale. I can't believe we're already there. Pretty, uh, pretty sad about that. Um, yeah, there's not going to be any any more three-body to watch for like a long time. So, uh, yeah, hopefully it ends strong. Um, I'll probably end up picking up the books because I definitely want to like continue on with the story. Um, I don't really feel like waiting, uh, like at, at minimum two years or so for the next season. And I, I think, I think. The, the Chinese version is also probably not out for at least a couple of years because I know it's a pretty big, pretty big budget. And they, the, the show over there has um, like 30 episodes per season, I think. So it takes like a long time to make. Um, yeah. Anyways. So, yeah, last episode was another another really, really good episode. Um, you guys pretty much I think this is the most amount of comments I had on a three body problem uh, reaction so far. And it was everyone pretty much just saying the 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 joke that I. Uh, uh, Ye Wenji told Saul was like extremely, extremely important. Um, oh, you got you, you all said like you you were like super happy about that scene being in there and how it's really important to like the plot of the season two and three book book two and three I guess. Um, so I may go rewatch it just so I can see if I can make maybe pick up some clues. But I don't like yeah the 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 punchline is like don't don't what was it don't play with God is that what the punchline was um what was it yeah i i forget what the exact punchline was it's something about like messing around with god so yeah, you guys were all saying it's really uh it's a key to the thing so um yeah i'm very curious um to what that could mean and i guess i'll find out when i read the books um let me know if you guys would be in, have any interest in me doing like a once i do read them maybe i could do a video about them my thoughts on the book i don't know that that might be yeah, that might be, I don't know, for anyone that cares, I could do that. <laughs> just, uh, just, uh, yeah, I don't know. That's, yeah, I, it will probably take me a while to read them anyways. I'm a pretty slow, uh, I mean, you guys know me, I, I procrastinate and I'm super lazy with my with my uploads lately, so uh, it'll take me a while. But yeah, so I'm really excited for this. I don't really know how it's going to end. Um, we finished off with uh, Ye Wenji, um, presumably is dead. Um, she was about to commit suicide, and then they also sent Tantiana to, to, to take her out, it seems like. Um, we got Will is, I guess, Will will be getting launched into space this episode. Um, I do know, oh, what, what's the reactor? There's a, there's a re I'm sure you, I, I mentioned it before, but I'm sure you guys have already watched his reactions, but there's like a German, is it a physicist or a scientist, German, German scientist that is reacting to three body as well. Um. If you, if you haven't seen his reactions, make sure to go check those out because those are, uh, yeah, I've, I've been watching every every time I watch an episode for my channel, I go and watch his reaction after I finished uh, reacting to it because, I mean, yeah, if, if you if you didn't know, I, I was like a huge, uh, I'm a huge fan of reaction channels. That's that's why I started my own. So I always go and, uh, yeah, he's been one of my favorite favorite reactors for Three Body. Learn learn a ton when I when I uh, when I'm watching him. Um, but yeah, he mentioned that it would be really cool if like the the season ended with like Will waking up in like uh, a Santi ship, and I definitely agree that that would be an awesome way to just like end the end the season on a crazy cliffhanger like that. That'd be so cool. So I almost think it's too good to pass up. Um, and I might be disappointed if that's not how they end the season. But obviously there could be some crazy other stuff that's about to happen that I have no idea about. So. Um, yeah, who knows? Um, yeah, is there much else to see? Um, I guess I'm, I'm kind of curious to see where Augie ends up. Um, I know she kind of, or yeah, and, and where she ends up, and like the the impact of her releasing her uh, her nano stuff to the world, because that's obviously like insane. That's that's now like anyone or not anyone, but like people people that know how to like manufacture stuff can create that now. So that's uh, like. Yeah, that's an insane advancement for the world. Um, yeah, I'm curious to see what, what happens to her, because she obviously, I mean, I guess she's technically, like, that's a, that was illegal, right? I'm assuming it was illegal. So she's in shit. She probably, I mean, I, I'm assuming, what's his name? Wade will probably protect her from any consequences. But yeah, I'd be curious to see where she's going, because her, her plot line's been kind of all over the place. So yeah, curious about that. Um, yeah, Jin is just going to be working on her, her stuff. Um, Saul's kind of just like wanders around hanging out um yeah I don't know is he going to become involved in the project or no yeah I'm not sure what his what his storyline might be because he kind of always they've hinted at him being like the smartest of the group he just doesn't care about like 
he just does it because he is good at it. He doesn't have like a passion for it. So maybe, maybe he'll find a passion for it now that Will's uh, Will's gone. He'll like want to want to help out with the with the cause. Um, maybe yeah. I don't know. Yeah, that's I never really actually thought about Saul. Like he's kind of been like just like a supporting character. I feel like, but he's obviously very important. And I, well, I guess he he was the one that heard that joke from Doctor Wenji. So. Um, yeah, his role might might play bigger, uh, might be bigger uh, down the line. Um, yeah, what else? Yeah, I'm, I guess I'm curious if there's gonna be a time jump. Um, yeah, I don't. I, I'm kind of assuming the main cast is gonna be um, put in cryo state. Is that cryo state? Is that what it's called? Yeah, cryo state. I think is what the sci-fi term is. Um, yeah, I'm curious if they're gonna be put in in, in uh, the cryo state, and then maybe we flash forward. But I'm not too too sure about that. Um, all right, yeah, let's just hop into it. Uh, make sure to join the Discord if you're interested in that sort of thing. Make sure to sub, drop a like, comment your thoughts, uh, your thoughts on the season, your thoughts on how it, how well they adapted the book. Um, I haven't read the book, obviously, so uh, I don't actually know how well of a job they're doing, but the, I've seen the Tencent version. The Tencent version was pretty awesome. Definitely enjoying the Knife version more, though. Um, that just kind of sw- in the middle of the season, it kind of swayed my mind on which one I preferred. Uh, yeah, let me know how you, how you compare the three, all that good stuff in the comments, and... Yeah, if, if any of you guys are interested and in, uh, in watching my reactions in the future, I'll be doing. Uh, I've done one episode of the new Doctor Who, but I'll be having. The, I'll be doing the rest of them. Um, I've been pretty slow to get them out. Apologies. Um, I'll, I'll, it'll be it'll be replacing uh, Three Body for the next couple of weeks, so I'll get caught up for sure. Uh, we've got Legend of Korra season three, four still. We got House of the Dragon will be out in a few weeks, I think, is when it starts up. Um, might check out that new Star Wars show. I, I don't know people have been saying it looks kind of mid so maybe not but maybe um and yeah dune dune part two reaction as soon as i get, get um bored enough to edit it i guess is when that'll be out so <laughs> we'll see anyways longest intro i've done on this channel i think <laughs> sorry uh I'll make sure to uh i'll have the timestamps up i'm sure half of you or more have already skipped ahead so yeah, if you're not, hi, thanks for watching everything. <laughs> All right, let's just hop into it. All righty. We don't even know what they look like. How do we mm-hmm. defeat an enemy we can't even imagine? The question is, how can our descendants defeat them? Our children's children... Uh, right, another uh, random hiccup for Saul. Yes, listen to this. Isn't how to win. You have a lot of one-night stands, don't you? Do you even remember my name? <laughs> of course. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just get me an Uber? Why should I get bent out of shape about what the world might look like 400 years from now? I have no control over it. <laughs> okay, well, if all of that You kind of do have control over it, though, Saul. You can help out. Listen, I'm not going to have kids. The family line ends with me, so I guess I don't worry about the far future that much. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, wise man who can't remember my name. <laughs> Watch it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Holy fuck. Oh my god. Um. Holy fuck, that came out of nowhere. She is dead. Oh my god. Sheesh. Oh fuck, now he was in it. Holy smokes. Okay, what an intro. What the fuck? That came out of nowhere. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that totally just woke me up. This is going to be a crazy episode if that's how it starts. Oh my god. Are you a cop? Not exactly. Oh, they haven't met. Okay. I'm under arrest. Are you pal Jin? It's sad to say, I know what happened to Jack and Will. When you met Yell and Chair at the graveyard, what did you two chat about? What the fuck is this? <laughs> Here's the thing. He's just like, and Jen met one person before she left the country, and that was you. Three days later, she's murdered in China. What? And someone tries to murder you. No, no, no one tried to murder me. It, there was an accident. The car that hit Nora was under autonomous control. It was hmm? self-driving. I know what autonomous means. With further reason to believe that they were targeting you. Who are they? Interesting. Okay. So this is, this is, I'm assuming this is playing into the whole uh, thing Ye Wenji told him, the, the joke. I guess that was the Sofans trying to take him out because he, even though he didn't understand it, I guess they realize it's a threat that he knows what she said. Um, hmm. 
I'm still completely in the dark on, on what w was said though. So I'm not really sure what I can like say, but I'm assuming that, yeah, that's just further talking about how important that statement was that she made to him. Put him oh, on. They're taking him the to bulletproof. the bulletproof. Oh, jeez. Cool. Okay. Well, that answered my whole question about Saul being important. He's like totally didn't think of it. So the Sofans want him dead because of what he knows. That's okay. You're the Santee, not the Sofans. He's probably have one on his head, shouldn't he? Like, <laughs> just shoots his head off. Assuming they're bringing him to the compound where all, all the scientists are at. Or... What's my destination? Someone will meet you when we get there and explain things to you. Hmm. Okay. They're gonna get him to like recall everything that you and she said, I guess. Jeez, they got like fighter jets escorting him and stuff too. That's crazy. Yeah, this is where they bring him, right? Or is this just I'd like these seeds included in the staircase capsule. He loves spicy food. No. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? They weigh eighteen grams. He's just a brain now. No mouth, no stomach. What'd be the point? <laughs> yes, where did they fly to? Welcome home. Go oh, back to the States? Okay. My name is Sebastian Kent. Oh, this guy. It's an honor to meet you. What's, what's the guy's name from? He was in uh, Silicon Valley. Tell me what's going on. I'm afraid I'm Egghead not or something? To do that. But you'll hear okay. it straight from the top. I'm just saying they're going here. Is this something to do with that Wade was talking about? The last episode, the weird secret thing? Where it's, it's crazy seeing the show like in not in London or whatever, or China. Back in, in New York. Ever been to the United Nations, Mr. Duran? Ooh. Okay, that's where they're going. A class trip. <clears throat> We're introducing the project to the world. If I understand correctly, I'm in charge of his security. He's wearing what he's wearing. The announcement of the Wall Facer Project. Wall Facer Project. I've war. heard that word a few times. I'm the not sure what it is, though. might be centuries away. To them, we are an open book, one they can read any time. Humanity has no secrets. How do we keep secrets from an adversary who sees everything? The Sofans have vast power, but they are not all powerful. Okay. They cannot read. Yes, our okay. Minds. They are going that route, okay. This is the basis of what we call the Wall Facer Project. We have chosen three people to formulate and direct strategic plans. They will develop these plans entirely in their own minds. Hmm. We shall call them wall facers. The wall facers never need to explain their actions and commands. First wall facer, General Hu Bo Lin. General Hu's books on military history are taught around the world. The second wall facer, Professor Leila Arish. He has exceptional experience fighting and winning asymmetrical battles. The third wall facer. Maybe Saul. Saul Durand. Interesting. He's like, what the fuck? They don't give him any background, just Saul Durand. <laughs> An Oxford trained. Oh, there we go. Who has studied with some of the greatest minds alive. Man, my intro is already super outdated. Holy crap. Oh, this is, I love the sound design right now. It's here to like pass out or something. He's like tripping. Mistake. Perhaps. We won't. Yeah, I am a little like. Couldn't the Sofans like drive these three people crazy though? Like, what would be the point of. Like, the Sofans know who the wall facers are, right? So they could just. Like, yeah, they could, they, they could kill them. They can do. Make them go crazy, make them. Drive them insane, all that stuff. Like, I don't really. Hmm. Maybe that'll get explained. Maybe that'll be like. Maybe they they would know that um they'll just name new wall facers, I guess. So that's they just there's no point in just continuously killing the person, maybe. I don't I don't know. That's a little weird to me. Let me let me know. Let me know if that that's a plot hole that I'm picking at, or I just I'm just supposed to suspend my disbelief, I guess, for that, or if there's an explanation, that'd be great. Let me know. I don't know for a very long time. It doesn't make sense. I am a low level researcher. So why were you chosen? Let's just say the enemy knows why. They think you are. They? The enemy? Mm -hmm. No one asked me if I wanted this. I reject the position of wall facer. <laughs> so I'm free to leave? You're free to do anything. I would like to leave. Alone. At least let me walk with you. No. 
Hmm. Oh my god. What the fuck? Got a fucking ambulance right here now. How did that just happen? Are you okay? Was that Tatiana maybe? Jeez. She even goes sitting in the back by herself. I love this little tune they have going on. It's been throughout the sh series, but it's so good, man. I gotta, I gotta get the soundtrack, the, the score yeah. for the show. He wanted to protect me, and I didn't let you. No. I mean, it wouldn't have really done much if he was standing there. He sort of got sniped. I'd like to see him. You want to see the guy that tried to kill you? Why? What do you think? You know your enemy? Is everyone going to smile at me like that from now on? How about? Like they think they know something about me, but can't say. Go sit down, buddy. She's like, I'm working. Hold on. <laughs> what the hell is going on? In exactly the right location. It's like threading a needle 300 times in a row, all while traveling hundreds of kilometers per second. Yes, Will is dead. No, he's not. He's a living brain. Do you know how easy it would be for them with their technology to rebuild his body? And what are the odds of that? Non-zero. You loved him. Mm, okay, so that was... He's still alive. Hmm. Yeah, so that kind of that kind of does confirm she yeah she realized like yeah she, she she did have feelings for him is that is that what they're saying or is that just more like she he she loved him like as a person I'm I'm not I feel like it's more like actual like yeah yeah I think she kind of realized that when she found out Will bought on the star she, she kind of all, all came into focus for her, I guess hmm. Hmm, this will be a cool scene. Where do I know that actor from? I've seen him before somewhere, I think. I'm sorry. You shot me with a sniper rifle. <laughs> sorry, I didn't aim for your head. Oh. And my mission That's would be nice. complete. And you'd be free of yours. I'm already free of mine. You're a funny man. I'm just telling you the truth. Hmm. You think you're clever? It's not your fault. I thought I was clever too before I learned the truth. Okay. You call them my superiors, but they're your superiors too. If they're mm. so fucking superior, why do they care if I live or die? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I've gone to be a soldier in the army of the Lord. Ooh. Interesting. Okay, this is like, hmm. Because <laughs> it's like we're, we're not communicating. I am not a wall facer. No, sir. I rejected the offer. You did. I want to see the Secretary General. Yeah, I'm a little. Are they kind of getting at like either they they think or like they're just they're gonna act like he is pretending that he doesn't want to be a wall facer? Is that kind of what they're going for there? Because it's a little confusing otherwise. Um... Yeah, I am curious why they haven't asked him what Ye Wenji said exactly there, because that seemed to be really important. Um, they, that that's like the only thing I can think of that would lead us to know why they want him dead, because they wanted him dead before he was a wall facer. Unless they had decided that ahead of time, maybe they just decided that ahead of time. I'm not sure. Yeah, lots lots more of the episode. We'll hopefully it gets filled in more. I'm a little confused right now though. So let's just keep it going. You think they're watching us right now? I do. Then they understand that I've rejected their position. Our wall faces work is carried out in secret. I don't know what's inside your mind. Neither do they. Was I chosen? And don't tell me that the enemy is watching because I don't care. Why was I chosen? No one knows. What? No one knows. There's got to be a reason why you picked me. But only an indirect one. No one knows the real reason. You'll have to find your own answer. What is that even? <laughs> what are you talking about, lady? You've ruined my life. Dude, what is happening? I'm so confused, man. What's the indirect reason? I believe you'll know when the time is right. 
<laughs> what? It has to be the Ye Wenji thing. That's the only thing I can think of. But like, what? Man, I need this the storyline to be like get some info about what's going on in this episode, or I'm gonna be pissed. I might spend the weekend reading the fucking okay. books. It's a team up or someone after her? Or that the game? It's a game. It's a game. Uh, Tatiana Haas. I guess the Sophons could conceivably like help this happen correctly because they would want to have his brain, right? So they'll try to impact it, impact the detonations to go off perfectly. Still don't really know what the point of this whole thing is though, like we're not gonna get any info from this though, right? Maybe some photos, but we are ready to I guess the yeah, photos would be enough alone to be important. Corn, peas, chili <laughs> pepper. Good guy Wade. I heard he likes spicy food. <laughs> He's a softie, that's why. Okay, it's definitely gonna work. The Sophons will make it work. Too much upside for them to have his brain. That was an underwhelming noise. Where's Saul at? No, oh, there he is, okay. Did he miss the launch? Should you be here? Is it safe? Bulletproof. He still got the mark in it. <laughs> so a Chinese general Kurdish war hero. I mean, sold around. Right? Mm. It's completely insane. I have an idea, though. Nah, stupid. Come on. Tell her. Tell her. Tell her about the story. The joke. Oh, yeah, where the heck's Augie? Oh, why? Is she okay? God, he loves you. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be a dick, but no. he did. Mm -hmm. I hope someone loves me that much someday. Mm -hmm. Maybe someone already does. Is that Augie? She's talking about Augie. Augie hates that she loves him, I think is kind of the implication there. That's actually kind of funny. Saul probably is a similar situation to Will, actually, where he, he doesn't really think he's like worth Augie, I think is kind of what we're getting at there, which is, yeah, that's really funny. Because he's kind of, yeah, he's always been like a, sl like a slack, not a slacker, but like... He's he's not really passionate about anything, I guess. Mexico. So she, she is from Mexico. So I thought she might have been from Spain. Mexico. Is she going to help her community out? I guess. Cuántas micras? Punto cero uno nanómetros. She's using her nano. She's using her nanotech to like yeah to help out people. I guess yeah, that's a good good uh, thing for her. Ten. All right, here we go. Eight. Oh, I see, this is the separation. Okay, not not the first, first bomb. Boosters one, two, three, and four have been ejected successfully. How does the sail work? Whoa! Holy, that looks insane. Okay, here we go. Expecting detonation in ten, two, one. Jesus, okay, that's how it works, okay, okay. Oh, they're super close, Three, okay. Two, one. He's flying now. <laughs> Third detonation successful. Rip. Are the Sofans gonna fix it though? So funds are gonna fix it. Four was that the so funds that did that. Let's get a second set of eyes on this. Damn. Damn. Hmm. There's the song again. Different version of it. What? What do you just whisper? Hmm. 
I have no idea, but he's from Boldin. We wanted to get it for him. Hmm, so I'm very curious about what just happened there. Like, it malfunctioned, but I'm like, hmm, wouldn't the Sofons... Because there's no downside to Will being picked up by them, right? So the Sofons would have wanted to make sure it goes right. Maybe they're not powerful enough to stop, like, a freak break in the in the sail uh, thing there. I'm not sure. But yeah, I'm very curious, because I thought Will was going to be a big part of it, but now he's floating in the wrong direction at not a normal, not a fast speed. Um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Weird. Let's see one. Maybe that was a test run? A secret test run? I don't know. Ooh, okay. Is he going to speak to the Lord? We're sorry the staircase project failed. We would have liked to meet Mr. Downing. Okay. And we hope to meet you, if your hibernation technology works. Hmm. Human beings are so fragile. Jesus Christ. If you're watching me, I must be doing something right. Yes, you're a strong leader. We want you to know there will be a place for you when we arrive. You are part of our plan. Hmm. What the f We'll always be with you. Every room you enter, we'll already be there waiting for you. Whatever we want you to see, you will see. Until the day you die. Holy fuck. Yeah, that's more what I was talking about. Like, like the Sofans could just fuck with like all the wall facers. They could fuck with anyone like that. Like, just drive them insane. So that's why I'm. That's kind of why I was saying a few episodes. Like, like I think humans are just fucked. Like, no matter what they do, the Sofans can always just do that to anyone that they want to get rid of. Like, yeah, I don't know. I still, yeah. <laughs> I feel like there's just plot holes here, but may maybe not. Like. Not potholes, they, they just kind of filled this potholes for me, but yeah, I'm still, I still just don't know how they can win. You are the two saddest looking bastards I've ever seen. <laughs> don't give me a speech, man. I can't take any Henry V bullshit. Wade told me you got that probe moving faster than any man made object ever. It was a failure. You understand that we're still a few million times slower than the Santi? Come on, go for a drive. There's got to there's got to be a twist at the end here somewhere. What's gonna happen here? Are they pulling a contact where there's a second, a second setup in somewhere? Is this about the cicadas? Yeah. Hmm. What is this gonna be about? People hate bugs. Been trying to get rid of them forever. Look around. They're not going anywhere. For the bugs. <laughs> okay, here's the theme song coming in. This is like how the ten the Tenzin version end on a scene like this. With all the cicadias and they're just drinking their field, I think. It's got a this yeah. Jeez. Is it the end? Don't be the end. Hmm. Oh right, so that was three body problem. Um yeah, where to start? I guess we'll just go over the episode. Um, completely shocked about Will's uh, thing failing. Um, I, yeah, I did not see that coming. That almost like the ending kind of, the whole second half of that episode kind of felt really underwhelming to me. Like, yeah, hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about the ending. Obviously, they they were, they were combining stuff from book two and three, from what I understand. So, the ending wasn't as like cliffhanger I guess I guess I guess the idea of us not even knowing what's what's next is kind of a cliffhanger in itself um but yeah so the, the wolf the Saul being the wall facer interesting concept but yeah like I like I've said a few times like I just don't see how like naming the wall facers the Sovans can just drive them insane like there's no yeah, that, that, that seems like a plot hole to me. Not a plot hole. Yeah, yeah, a plot hole. Like, hmm. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what to think. It's obviously a really good show. Yeah, th this finale, though, um, hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I was expecting more for the finale. I don't know. I, I feel kind of let down. 
to be honest. Um, it's still obviously an amazing show. It just feels like an incom- completely incomplete. Usually, uh, usually finales of uh, of seasons of shows are a bit more like exciting, I guess. Not exciting, but like I don't know. I just kind of, yeah. I f- I just feel a bit let down with how it ended. Um, I definitely need to check out the books though because I don't know if I can go years without knowing the uh, what happens in the story so yeah i'll definitely pick up the books the audiobooks i guess i've actually never done an audiobook before maybe i should do that because I, I listen to podcasts like crazy so maybe i should just do audiobook for it let me know how the audiobook how, do, how the audiobook is for for three body um do i need to be like sitting there like listening like super closely or is it more can i just oh i guess obviously i need to listen to it but can i like um, can I like walk my dog and listen to it and be fine or, or am I kind of will it need like my full attention to really understand it um, let me know what that um, yeah so yeah overall re- really good show really good um, kept getting better and better I feel like um, I think I started the yeah the first half I kinda, I think I was still by the, by the halfway mark I was still saying I like the Tencent version more and then once we got further and further I started liking it more and more than the Tencent version um yeah, a lot of some of you guys pointed out some flaws with the Tencent version too, just with the how like what's it called like lack like emotionless maybe is is that the right word? Yeah, I guess yeah. I don't know the, the Netflix version. Netflix version just did, did did a really good job. Um, David David Benioff and what's the other guy's name? David Benioff and Weiss or something. I forget the Game of Thrones guys. Yeah, they, they seem to be pretty good at adapting books. Um. Like lots of you know, obviously Game of Thrones, as soon as the, the books ended, they kind of shit the bed with that stuff. Um, so that's, yeah, that's interesting. Um, I guess, yeah, th- that does mean there will be like a full, like the whole series will be adapted from the book. So that's good. At least we'll get like the proper ending, hopefully, unless Netflix like screws them over with the episode count or something. But um, yeah. Yeah, so I, lots of questions. I guess still the whole the whole Wenji thing with the with the play with was it the don't play with God? Yeah, don't play with God is what, is what she said. Is the, is like the punchline of the joke to Saul that I'm assuming is um, why the the Santi want him dead. Something she said is like was it something that was communicated to her from the Santi or like hmm or just something she realized herself. I'm not sure. I need to watch that scene again because it's super interesting to, like, going me going for, like, what the hell is she talking about to you guys saying, like, it's, like, the key to the whole show and series and all that. So that, that's an interesting... <laughs> it's, like, a riddle for me to solve. I don't know if it's even possible for me to figure it out until I read more. But, um, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta assume that's why he was picked to be the wall facer. But the, 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 whole, the, whole, the whole episode was so weird. So many, like non-clear answers from people and just like weird i don't know i almost think it was intentional to like throw the santi off but it, like it's, it's still like like i'm saying like the sofans can just like what's stopping the sofans the sofans from just ruining um saul's life like they could just make him they could i actually i guess did we see that did we see that um does the sofan have to stay on the, like there's only two sofans right there's to to like put a timer up on someone's eyes so one has to stay there right or is or can they like put it there and then go to, to go to other stuff i maybe someone clarify that for me like like in the sofans like no they must have to actually go there okay yeah like it takes up it takes up an entire sofa to to put a timer up constantly like that sofa can't do anything else except for be up Right? I think I think they showed that. They showed the Sylvain going into her eyes, right? I think that's the case. Okay, I'm just going to assume that's the case. So, they couldn't, like, drive everyone crazy at the same time. Like, con- like 24-7. They could, like, bug them, but they couldn't. Unless I'm, yeah, unless unless I have that wrong. Apologies if I do. Um, let me know in the comments. I'm sure, sure someone will correct me. Um, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm a little I'm a little. Hmm. I just I wish I wish I could watch season two right now. This <laughs> is pretty much all I'm feeling. Yeah. So overall, good, great, really good show. Really scratched the sci-fi itch that I've had uh, lately. Um, 
excited to read the books or listen to the audiobooks, whatever I might do. Um, I'll probably do a little. Eh. Let me know in the comments if, if any of you would actually care for me to like do like a book two review type thing. I don't know. I don't know if people would care about that. That's not. I personally wouldn't uh, watch that. I guess I wouldn't watch someone just talking about the book. This, I mean, that might actually be cool, but I've never actually watched like a like a book reaction because I'm not a huge reader. I've read I read some stuff. Like I've read like um, what have I read? I read like all, most of the Ender's Game stuff. I've read uh, Jillian Flynn's books. Um, what else have I read, man? I've read like the Han the Hannibal books. Um, yeah some and a few other stuff i'm not like a huge reader i, I go through phases and like usually in the summer i'll uh, i'll read some books find a nice uh a nice spot in like at a park and just like read for a bit but that's yeah that very rare maybe every other every every other summer i'll do that for like a month or so and that's about all i really do reading wise um but yeah let me know if you'd be interested you'd be interested in a, like a book review type book reaction i don't know that yeah that would be I don't know. Let me know. <laughs> um, okay. So yeah, lots of questions. This this video is gonna be crazy long. Lots of questions though. Um, yeah, if you're still watching, if you can try to answer some of them for me without spoiling, that'd be great. Uh, I'm sure I have a bunch of stuff I'm like getting wrong in terms of my understanding of what happened. So that's probably not helping. There's a few things I, that if, if I had someone right now clarifying for me, that would probably help a ton with my understanding, but. Unfortunately, that's not how how these types of things go. Um, yeah. Anyways, yeah. Well, this we'll, we'll wrap three body up there. We'll just I'll talk about some other stuff really quick. But yeah. So th yeah. Thanks for watching along with me. Um, hope hope you subscribe. Hope you like my my stuff. Uh, we'll we'll keep it up with some. I'm gonna try to mainly do sci-fi. I think because I'm sci-fi is what I prefer for uh, for shows generally. But um, yeah, we'll try to keep it sci-fi. If not. Oh well, I guess we'll, we'll switch it up and stuff. But um, yeah, hope, hope hope you're enjoying my my stuff. Um, like I said, I think I said this in the intro, but yeah, we got Doctor Who. I'll be Doctor Who will be replacing Three Body for the next few weeks as I catch up to the show because I'm I think I'm like three episodes behind where it is right now. So I'll do that in this this coming week to to catch up to the weekly releases. And then yeah, we got House of the Dragon season two. Um, I'll th I think I'll do. Um, yeah, that's like the big show of the summer, right? So I'll, I'll probably do that because, yeah, well, like everyone's going to be doing that. Um, but yeah, and then I, obviously I do want to try to get movies and doing part two, obviously. I'm, I've been procrastinating doing that for so long, but I'm going to do that soon. And then I don't know how often I'll do movies because they're obviously like insanely annoying to edit. Um, but yeah, I'll try to do one of those like maybe once a month. We'll, we'll, we'll do that. Um, type thing yeah that, that that's probably that's a realistic goal i guess maybe i don't know if i can commit to doing more than that because obviously this is like this is my second channel um if any of you guys care about like uh rugby uh aussie rules football or uh, uh rugby league then yeah go check out my other channel um i do reactions to that over there um but yeah um what else yeah i don't know yeah, let me know in the comments about a bunch of stuff, because, yeah, obviously, probably a little bit of a weird reaction. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm curious to watch other people's reactions to this to this episode, uh, because, yeah, I'm, I'm wondering what, what the uh, what the general consensus is on the finale. It, it was, yeah, it was interesting, but weird and not what I expected at all for a finale. So, anyways, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll wrap it up for the fifth time. <laughs> uh, yeah, drop a sub, drop a like, comment. Thanks for watching.